Hi, I'm Kelsey Cook from NetApp SolidFire here with another episode of Pop-Up Tech Talks. Um, Andy Banta, are you oh, available? Oh, hey, yeah. hi. hi. Hi, so glad to have you. Oh, thanks. Sorry, I, I was just checking my phone. Let me check my teeth. <laughs> yeah, I think they're fine. Okay. So, uh, how are you doing today, Kelsey? I, I'm good. How are you? So, what are you here to talk about? <laughs> I'm here to talk to you about... Oh. Yeah, yeah. I, I'm, I'm sorry. <laughs> It's confusing because we're twins. Uh, that's right. We, Freaky Friday. Same thing. We are. So, anyways, Andy, now that we have everything sorted out, um, could you introduce yourself and, and what you do? Yeah, my name's Andy Banta, and uh, my official title is Storage Janitor. I'm actually a principal uh, virtualization architect at NetApp SolidFire. Awesome. Thank you for being here. So, here at Cisco Live, you've been giving presentations about VVOLs in the booth. Could you talk to us about what SolidFire is doing with VVOLs? Why, certainly. You see right here, VVOLs. So uh, SolidFire is going to actually release a VVOLs implementation with our Florian release. That's actually coming out sometime uh, later this fall, August, September, October, somewhere in there. I don't know, think the exact date is set. Uh, we actually took the idea that um, VVOLs would be a really compelling feature for SolidFire because it would offer the, uh, the capability of doing per VM QoS, uh, guaranteeing QoS uh, the same way that SolidFire guarantees QoS on all of our other systems. Uh, we went in with the idea that we needed to make sure that we could guarantee QoS, but we wanted our VVOLS implementation to scale out just like everything else does with SolidFire. So as you add more nodes, you get more capacity for your vir virtual volumes, you get more throughput by adding more protocol endpoints. Uh, we just have we have a load of things on our blog and uh, very shortly on our technical solutions information page that'll describe how we're implementing VVOLS and why we think it's a compelling use case for VMware customers. Great, that's really exciting. And I know that you have a lot more to share. So if someone had more questions or wanted to talk to you more about this, what should they do? Well, they can always stalk me on Twitter. Uh, Twitter handle is at Andy Banta. It's right here. I think it's right here. <laughs> um, but uh, you can also um, contact me through NetApp. Perfect. And, um, you know, if there's any confusion, he's the tall guy that you might see running around conferences. That's true. Uh, you know, it's, I'm, I'm fairly easy to, to uh, find. Uh, just look above the crowd everywhere else. Um, you can actually pan down and show that we're not actually standing on anything. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, but I'm hoping my twin sister will grow up to be as tall as I am someday. Someday. I'm going to keep eating my Wheaties. Thank you for being with us on Pop-Up Tech Talks. Okay, thanks. Cool. See you at the next episode.